Well, hello, hello, party people. Thank you for uh, taking a couple minutes to hang out with me, to be informed or reminded, wherever you find yourself in that spectrum today, of what's going on in the life of our church uh, here at St. Paul's United Methodist Church in Ocala, Florida. Uh, first and foremost, um, one of the things I've meant to say the last several weeks, and I probably should have said from the very beginning, um, I do not have any desire to be the only voice you hear <laughs> and definitely not the only face you see uh, when it comes to the life of St. Paul's United Methodist Church. So moving forward, there's going to come a time where I'm going to ask some of you or many of you, who knows, or hope that some of you step up and volunteer uh, to help us do this Friday or weekend, however you find it, check in uh, to remind us and to keep us informed of, about what God is doing in and through uh, the church here at St. Paul's. So just know that. I really, really do desire to not be uh, the only talking head or face that you see, or I see for that matter, uh, going forward. So just know that. So some reminders. Um, We've got a lot of things about to kick off, a lot of events that are about to happen, and of course, Lent is around the corner. I just want to remind you, um, you know, first and foremost, we are going to have um, acolyte training this Saturday. Um, if you have a child that is kindergarten currently or older, um, we want them to be here at 10 a.m. here in the sanctuary so we can, uh, for some of them, remind them about the role of being an acolyte and others that perhaps may have not been through a training before and want to know more about it. We want them here so we can encourage them to be a part of that going forward. Next Tuesday night is our Mardi Gras dinner here in the Fellowship Hall. That is a fundraiser put on by a small group of really dedicated folks who really, really care about St. Paul's and our children and youth. This year, all the proceeds from this meal, this Mardi Gras meal, will benefit our youth in their summer experience that we're trying to kind of finalize here in the next couple of weeks, whether that be camp or a, or a trip or a mission trip. Um, but all of that's going to go to help benefit that experience. Many of you, close to 50, have already RSVP'd that you will be here and you've told us how many meals that you want. Um, but we have just a couple more meals available. So if you are kind of on the fence and you want to be a part of that, please go to our website, spocala.org. And you'll see, if you hang out there at the, the homepage, you'll see the little button that says RSVP for the Mardi Gras meal. And uh, also, next Wednesday, of course, as we've been talking about for some time now, will be Ash Wednesday. Uh, we will observe Ash Wednesday together uh, with a worship service here Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. here in the sanctuary. I pray that you, um, A, I pray that you've already made plans to be with us. If not, I hope that you will. Um, I cannot think of a better way to begin uh, the journey of Lent. Um, Lent is both an inward movement and an outward movement. That, that, that will kind of, you'll learn more about that as we kind of move into Lent together. That will be kind of the focus, um, especially during our Sunday morning worships during Lent, about observing both the, the inward work and uh, what it produces in the outward journey that we go on during Lent, um, seeking to be mindful of, of all the things that come up when we are faced again with the overwhelming, um, magnificent, uh, beautiful, and yet very sorrowful reality of what Christ endured um, with the hope of resurrection uh, that comes on Easter morning. So lots uh, happens during Lent, and I don't want to get into it on this video, but I pray that you will consider being a part of Ash Wednesday as we seek to begin this time together with purpose and intention, all right? Um, we'll wrap up our sermon series this Sunday. Um, last Sunday before Lent, uh, we've been talking, as you are probably aware, about not all, but some of the things that um, need readdressing, uh, some of the status quo realities or quote-unquote normal things that we fall in the habit of in church, not just at St. Paul's, but in church in general, and how reassessing those things uh, bringing them up to the surface uh, and saying this cannot be the way it A, was inclined to be, not the way it was created to be, but especially not the way it can be in the future. So we'll wrap that series up 
this Sunday, 10.30 a.m. I hope that you all consider coming. Uh, grace and peace to you all. Have a wonderful weekend, and I can't wait to be with you in worship Sunday.